What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Now I know it's been a couple of weeks since you've seen me. That's because a lot has been going on um, and not all for the better. Um, starting with, I came home from work uh, last week to find that we've been experiencing some heavy thunderstorms and then I had a power outage which lasted about a day and a half and in this video I will be explaining that uh, specific event and how I handled it now like I said this video is from before um, today is now the 22nd and it's been about a week and a half or so since this happened but even since then I got some even more tragic news um, I guess it's not as tragic because it kinda works out for the better in the long run so I will be doing a couple more videos to explain uh, my situation at the moment um, how it's been working out for me and it's not all been good trust me a lot of it's been pretty bad and luckily I have a good support system that's gonna help me through this but I'm not giving up I'm not quitting um, and I'm gonna keep this up because there's you know nothing good comes to those who quit so so thank you guys I hope you enjoyed the video it is kind of on a, a sadder note um, than you guys are normally used to but I promise you guys that I'm not getting out the hobby um, I'm not giving up yet so, enjoy the video. Have a good one. What's going on, guys? So, kind of a emergency situation. If you can see these massive wires I got going on, that's because I live in the Pocono region of Pennsylvania, and we just had some massive thunderstorm um, last night while I was at work. So I came home last night around 11.30 or so, or well, I got home around 12, to find that the power was pretty much out all over the place. I don't know how long it was out, but I know I came home. It was humid. It was so humid in here. It was stifling. You know, the fish were starting to look sad, and, and they were really starting to lose oxygen drastically. So... Luckily, I did purchase a generator. Um, this was a cheap four-stroke generator off eBay. They were running a deal. I think I paid about a hundred and something dollars for it. Um, I'll get you the specs and put them in the description. But essentially, I had to run home. I had just bought oil for this generator a couple days ago, and I lucked out there. So. Um, I was able to put some oil in there, run to the gas station, put some gas in there, and it fired up first dry, and I, I lucked out with that thing, especially taking a big risk at uh, with the quality of the generator. Now, I, that being said, I don't know how long the generator is going to last, but as for now, it's working. It's been on all night. I have no idea when they're expecting the power back. Um, I'm supposed to go to work so, uh, a little bit later, so worst comes to worst, I'm going to fill up my fuel can, and then I am going to um, ask my friend if she'll be able to come over and top it off while I'm at work. But I still got a couple of hours. I'll top it off again before I leave for work and then fill up the generate fill up the the fuel can again so that way it's taken care of. But as you can see, tanks doing well. I just fed these guys. So far everyone has survived. And also the clown down here and I believe the pipefish. I did see him alive yesterday when I came home. So everything in this tank did well. All the corals are fine. All the fish are fine. I think I caught it just in the nick of time. The freshwater tank, again, 
As far as I can tell, everyone is doing okay. I just fed them as well. Pea puffers were doing fine. Just we're done eating some frozen mices. And they're doing well. Now, the bad news comes with the Pico tank. So, as you know, this tank suffers a lot of fluctuations and variations. And ever since I came home and I had asked someone to feed this tank and they drastically overfed it to the point where it was really, really bad. Um, I had to do a couple water changes just to get it normal again. And then after that, I experienced some issues here and there. Now, I was always planning on removing the gobies from this tank because I just was tired of seeing them dealing with the fluctuations. So a couple days ago, I caught the shark nozzles up at the top. Um, I pulled them out, but I didn't really have a chance to acclimate them. It was kind of a, I had to move them quick because I had them down here, which is the sump for this tank. And that um, is heated, and at the time it was getting really hot, and I didn't want him to stay in there. So, against my better judgment, I just went ahead and threw him in the sump of my main display. If you don't catch, catch where I'm going with this, he was alive for a little bit. And then yesterday I peeked in there and he didn't make it. So that's why they say um, acclimation is extremely important, especially you don't know how stressed the fish was. He went from a certain temperature down into the sump, which I forgot the heater was running and that was at a way higher temperature. Um, then he was stressed out for me trying to catch him and then throwing him into another tank with a different temperature and not the same salinity. So. There you go guys, temperature acclimate, you see it happening with me, I fail at this sometimes, you know, I should have took the time to just, to, you know, sit down and, and acclimate them, but I was really running into some issues with the tank and I had to take care of it right away and I think that was the best decision. So the yellow line goby was still in here, was doing well, but power loss seems to have gotten to him as well. And there he is at the bottom. Just couldn't make it. Just couldn't make it. Um, that's, that's another thing with these small tanks, okay? It's fine, you know, I get it, small fish, but for example, he would have had a better chance in my gallon breeder, even though there's a lot of fish in there, it's a lot more surface area, a lot more oxygen. And a tank this small, you know, even though he's a small fish, um, the oxygen level depletes from this rather quick, quickly um, and it was just not sufficient for him to survive. Oh, the hermits are alright, the coral are, is alright, and the shrimps, shrimp are alright. But I don't know why you can see that, but there is the yellow line down there. Rest in peace buddy, I'm sorry. Um, but these, these these weather conditions have been taking a drastic toll on everything and as you know I have hundreds of dollars in my freshwater tank, thousands of dollars in my saltwater tank and I just can't take the risk of losing that so the generator is up and running right now um, the only thing I'm powering with my generator right now I'm powering all three all four tanks um, which are the main salt water display, the fresh water display, the Pico tank, and then the two-in-one tank in my room, um, as well as a light and my fridge. And it's, it's the generator has been handling that no problem at all. Um, so, guys, get a generator. I'm telling you, bubblers are just not gonna quite make it. These little bubblers that you buy are rated for a couple of gallons, even though they will work. Um, temporarily they won't be able to sustain say a 40 gallon tank um, for a couple of days they might work for maybe a day um, but after that the fish are gonna start consuming the oxygen faster than the bubbler can replenish uh, that and if you have fish in your sump like I do that pr produces another issue because you would need two separate bubblers for that one for the top one for the bottom because you have no water flowing up and down so that's why I say just get a generator bite the bullet if you don't have one bite the bullet and buy it 
Um, I was able to take my generator and run it about 100 feet from the yard, from my house, and that way it didn't really disturb me or anyone else. And you know, I had to run to the store to get some more extension cords, but I do have them now, and I know how I'm, I can run my setup. So we all know generators can be a little, um, what's the word? Generators can be a little inefficient sometimes and a little untrustworthy. So how I have mine running is the generator is running to extension cords, but my extension cord are running to two power surge um, banks, I guess you want to call them. This one runs my Pico and my freshwater tank, um, and I have that one running to my other power bank, which is powering the main display. So the, the reason for that is I wanted redundancy with the power surge banks, just in case there was a generator surge. Even though the generator has safeties in place for that, you just never be too sure. Um, so I have it running to multiple power surges. And I have the one running to the other tank is running to another power surge, which is then powering that tank. So this is the update I have for you guys right now. Um, it's still an ongoing update. Still no power. Um, I don't know when the power is expected to be back, so I, I really, I really hope this this resolves itself quickly. Just because you know, I do have the generator, but I I don't have indefinite funds, and it's not payday, so I have to keep buying fuel. It takes, I think it has about a two gallon tank, and it's about around five dollars to fill that up five six dollars it doesn't seem like much but I believe it runs for about eight hours at the capacity it's at so it doesn't seem like much but it starts adding up quick not to mention I had to buy power cords batteries um, stuff to secure the generator and whatnot so <laughs> it adds up guys it adds up real quick and I'm going to have to work my butt off in overtime for the next couple of weeks to get back on track now for some good news I did place an order uh, with Sky's Lagoon again um, if you don't know guys he has auctions he has these amazing auctions he had a Mother's Day auction a great auction sale I was able to get a couple pieces of coral from him just waiting on them to get shipped at the moment um, he had free shipping over $25 uh, I'm going to start doing, being more tentative with letting you guys know. And like I said, if you're in the Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, uh, Maryland area, he will um, have a discounted shipping for you. This time for Mother's Day, it was free um, for those areas, I believe, it, with a purchase over $25 on livestock. So go on, guys. Head over there to Sky's Lagoon. Check him out. He has some great stuff. That being said, I am planning on attending a uh, frag, uh, like a trade show, frag show, I forget what you call those, um, but I think it's, this, it's the same one DC Reefer and Inappropriate Reefer has attended. It's over in, it's in June over at um, that fish place in Lancaster. So, I am scheduled to attend. I do have some coral on reserve. So, definitely looking forward to that. And hopefully I can make it and hopefully I can get my hands on those coral that I did reserve. So, I'm looking forward to that. Still looking forward to trying to attend Palooza New York. I'm going to see what I can do. Um, I think I'll be able to figure something out for you guys and... Hopefully, I'll see you guys there. But I just wanted to give you guys an update on the situation. As things progress, I'm going to do some updates on Instagram and just let you guys know where I stand with my electricity or am I going to still continue to be able to manage the 
generator or what or what I, I really don't know at this point and I will I will let you guys know as soon as possible but thank you guys for watching have a good one